Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right, so this morning, our morning reading will be coming from Romans 12 and verse 1. But we know in this week we're discussing serving the Lord, bless God, all right? And, you know, as we shared on yesterday, when we think about all that God has done for us, he saved us, he, he rescued us, chose us, healed us, blessed us. My God is constantly increasing us. It's only right for us to desire to serve him with our whole heart. And even as Joshua said, Joshua said, as for me and my house, but I bring it even closer than that. I said, as for me, I will serve the Lord. Again, you can't, I can't speak for everybody in the house, by the Lord, but I can speak for this man, this boy right here. And I have decided I'm going to serve the Lord for the rest of my life. Amen. Amen. So let's read Romans 12, verse 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy acceptable unto God, which is your, hit this, reasonable service. New Living Translation says, And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. My Lord, bless you, Father. Because, because of all that Jesus has done for me. Again, you keep saying, why do you keep saying you, Pastor? Because I got to make this about me. My God, I'm not I can't speak for everybody else. So because of all that Jesus has done for me, it's only reasonable, only reasonable for me to desire to serve him. My God, it's only reasonable for me to come to him and ask him, what is it I can do for you, Lord? All right. Again, covenant relationship is two-sided. It's not just, you know, what can God do for us? But we also got to come to God and ask him, God, what can I do for you? How can I serve you? All right, that's covenant. Covenant goes both ways. You know, both parties play a part in this thing. My God, you know, and I acknowledge that I was a mess, a hot mess, my God. And Jesus came to save me. And Jesus came here and rescued me. So to me, again, to me, it's only reasonable that for the rest of my life, I'm dedicated to serving him, my Lord, because it was it was him that came and saved me, rescued me, uh, put me on the right path. My God forgave me of all of my sins. My Lord uh, caused me to start seeing my life turn around, turn, turn in, the, in the favor of God and in the blessing. So it's only reasonable, you know, my God, it's only reasonable. You know, you gotta ask a lot. It's only reasonable, my God, that I'm desiring to what, serve him with the rest of my life, my God. And, you know, anything he needs of me, ask of me, it's only reasonable. And I'm willing to do it, my God. And then I'm willing to respond. All this, as I shared, is a response to his love. We love him because he first loved us, my God. And he done loved us so much. It's only reasonable that I'm willing to serve him and give him my life and do anything he's asking of me to do. Amen? Amen. I pray you make that same decision, my God. So let's go ahead and take me on this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day and another opportunity you've given us, Father, to come before your table to commune with you and with one another. And for that, we say thank you, Father. We take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace, and our complete wholeness was upon you with and by your stripes we were healed. Therefore, we are healed, and we're healed right now from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. We love you, Lord Jesus, because you first loved us. And we acknowledge every time we partake in communion, all the covenant benefits and rights and privileges are released and dispersed on the inside of us. And for that, we say thank you. We take the bread right now. We eat all of it. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand this morning before the Father, holy, blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame and love. We're not trying to be righteous. We are. We have been made righteous. My God, 
all of our sins forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again. And for that, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We take the cup right now and we drink all of them. Mm. Saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hey, I encourage you this morning, make that decision that I'm going to serve the Lord all the days of my life. My God, yes, Lord, man. All right, let's get our blessed confession in on this morning. The blessing of the Lord is upon me. My family is blessed. My marriage is blessed. My children are blessed. My house is blessed. My body is blessed. My mind is blessed. My finances are blessed. My business is blessed. My church is blessed. Everywhere I go and everything I do is blessed. The blessing of the Lord is working for me now. God has made all grace, every favor, and every earthly blessing abound towards me in abundance on today. Amen. Amen. Receive that, that the blessing is working for you and your household. Bless God. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. We thank you, Father, for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us. Father, I shout grace, grace to every household right now. To all that's watching, Father, I decree the blessing is working for them, Father. The blessing is increasing them. The blessing is, has gone before them, setting up great things for every household, Father. And I shout grace, grace to all those who need healing and health and strength in their bodies. Father, you are the Lord our God, the healer for us, Father. We receive healing. We receive strength, Father, on today, Father. And we know that you healed them all, Father. And we receive that right now, that you healed them all. And we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. Thank you guys for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow to commune with the Father and with one another. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Have a blessed day.